how to use Microsoft Authenticator on multiple devices. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm going to show you how you can use multiple devices with your Microsoft Authenticator app for whatever reason. Let's say you want more than one device to be able to log in. We're going to show you how to do it. So the first thing you want to do is go to office.com and you'll be able to sign in. Let me make sure that you are signed in with the account that you would like to work with. So on the left hand side, you can see that there is a toolbar and you can open any one of your apps. We're going to go into Outlook. Now, this must be done from Outlook because it is your main email server. You're going to go ahead now over to the right hand side of the page where you will be able to see your profile picture or the first letters of your first name and your second name. You're going to tap on that and you're going to tap on view account. Now, once you tap on view account, you'll get into this page right over here. Now, from this page, you'll see that there is security info. Now, we're going to tap on the update info and you will be faced with a page that looks like this. Now, from here, it is relatively simple. As you can see, there is a password and an app password and then a Microsoft Authenticator, uh, a push multi-factor authentication, um, which has been added in over here as default sign-in methods. We're going to go ahead and tap on add sign-in method over here. Now, from here, you will choose the method you would like to add. So with the drop down menu, of course, we're going to have a look at the authenticator app and we're going to tap on add. Now over here, it says start by getting the app. So this will basically prompt you to make sure that you have the app downloaded on your actual device, your phone, uh, whichever other secondary device you would like to use from here. And then you're going to go ahead and tap on next. So from here, it says set up your account and if prompted, you will have to allow notifications and then you are going to add an account and select work or school. Now, what we will do is jump over to our Microsoft Authenticator app. I'm doing this on my mobile device and at the top, there is a plus button. You're going to tap on that and it'll now give you the option to tap on work or school account. From here, it says add work or school account and you can now scan a QR code or you can sign in. So back onto the desktop, we're going to go ahead, tap on next. And once you tap on next, you will see that there is a QR code and we're going to jump back onto our secondary device, our mobile device, and we're going to tap on scan a QR code. Now, of course, you will see this open up and it'll scan our QR code. And from here, it'll say activating. You'll have to just wait a few moments. It now says account added successfully. And back onto the desktop, you're going to go ahead and tap on next. Now, this is where they use their numbering system. So we're going to go ahead and it says, let's try it out. So on your mobile device, it says enter number here. You're going to enter that number and then you're going to tap on yes on the mobile device. You will now see on the mobile device it says approved and over here it says notification approved we're going to tap on next on the right hand side it says microsoft authenticator app was successfully registered it also gives you a date there and you can see now that it is in over here there you go if you want multiple devices you can do this exactly the same you can copy and copy it onto any other device i hope you enjoyed this video if it helped you give us a thumbs up we'll see you in another awesome video cheerio